Voy a darle... Hello guys, welcome to another lesson. Today we would like to explain you how to do flicking twist in cha cha cha. Let's get started. Okay, how to start with? Okay, for the man position, is a split position, and guys, you're gonna rock, use your chest a lot, keeping your arms in front, and stabilizing, helping the lady. Now, for the girls, you're gonna start with the right leg forward, finishing your back foot. So this will be your step number one. Step number two, you're gonna go down into the over-twisted sitting position. So let's reverse it one more time. So you from step forward, so you will start here, you're going step forward, then you doing a hip twist, and same time you're going down. So normally as you hip twist, you stay on the same level. This time you're gonna go down. So step forward, hip twist with the lowering. Boom, over twisted. Now from here, you're gonna stay the same, on the same leg, which is right leg for the girls. So this is your right leg. You're gonna stay on the same leg, and the man will help you to untwist, untwist. And as you're untwisting, your free leg gonna come across with a beautiful presentation position. Let's reverse. Let's go from the starting position. So we're going step forward. That's step number one. Then step number two is gonna be a hip twist with the lowering. Then step number three, we're gonna unwind. Now, okay, from here, this is the hardest moment to learn. Here, you will have a weight change. So now, Christina is on her right leg, right leg, left leg is free. Now, somehow, we have to keep twisting and change weight, same time, from right to left. So let's do it. Boom. And here, we introduce, there is a lot of uh, different styles how to dance it. You can go up or you can stay on the same level. We like to go up. Okay, so let's reverse just that step. So you were from this position and somehow you have to twist and pop up from beginning. One more time. So right leg goes forward. Count two. Hip twist with lowering. Count three. Unwinding. Count four. And now weight transferring with going up. One. Okay, from here. This is the entering for the next moment. We're gonna introduce a little bit front run day with the front leg and the back heel will cross behind as much as you can here. This line, back heel. Also, there is a version to do it up, up with the high tip to toe. So it depends on speed and style. You can play with that as well. So this is the whole movement. So basically there is a four steps involved. So step number one, step forward. Step number two, lowered, lowering hip twist. Step number three, unwinding. Step number four, changing weight with going up. And step number five is actually you doing a step with the turn out the heel. And here process repeat. Chick, 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 chick. And guys, be very stable for the girl to help her to create that crazy, crazy move. Мне туфля зацепилась. Придется еще раз. All right. So let me share some women's perspective on that move. So first and foremost, when you do any twist in action in dancing, and in this particular case, the female dancer should keep her shoulder and her framing towards the partner. So a lot of times, uh, ladies, a lot of times, they do some mistakes like this. They start turning like that together with their hips and their shoulders because it's a little bit more convenient, I know that, but what it does for you, you will lose your speed and your uh, mobility there. So because the 
music is so fast and the action is so fast, if you twist your shoulder together with your hips, you will be extremely slow. Nevertheless, your partner will struggle a little bit. So basically, this is one of the most important things. You keep your shoulder and your arms and your framing towards the partner. Of course, you will have slightly like a mild twist in your chest towards the hips, but I'm trying to resist constantly and resist against my hips. So the next motion, let's say, when I swivel in, so my hips now towards the right, but my arms and my chest is resisting towards the left. So now I twist in my hips to the left, my arms and my chest is resisting against the hips. And I'm finished the same way. So every single move in that uh, particular dance figure, I'm trying to do with the resistance. So my hip go one way, my chest, and my shoulder kind of pulling against it. Um, yeah, I will show you an exercise how to improve that. First, you have to uh, bring your feet together and rotate your hips around on the maximum what you can do. But try to keep your shoulders square and looking toward the front. Like this, you will feel a resistance between that hip bone and your shoulder. So you will feel like you're stretching the elastic there, uh, like a cross connection between here to here. Now change your hip, but resist with your shoulder. So that exercise is actually very hard to do because you have to create a very strong elastic and resistance in your body, in your core area in particular. So I'm rotating my hip and resisting with the shoulder. So that would be perfect exercise to train that feeling, how to sense and feel that resistance. So let's move on with the, another tip. So uh, tip number two, it's the, the ankle control of the free leg. So let's see here. So when I do that step, I have an ankle pushing downward and inward. So let's say it's, it's more like inward. So my ankle bone, as you can see this bone here, a lot of people, they have opposite, they have like this. So their bone is slightly kind of going outside. But what I'm trying to do all the time, at every movement, trying to lay down with my ankle inward. So I'm creating the inward pressure. And uh, I'm starting it with the first step. So I'm creating the inward pressure here. But it's very hard to maintain this pressure when you swivel, but you have to do it. So when I go down, as you can see, my ankle not relaxing like this. It's keeping pressure inward, 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 inward until I close my feet. If I continue rotation, you can see that my ankle is remaining inward, this bone still going inside away from my toes, let's say. So my toes go outside, my ankle bone goes inside. So it's remaining in the same position all the way from the start till the end. And when I continue this swiveling action, my bone is still going inward and upward kind of. And when I place myself in this position, you can see that my bone is still in the same pressure lifting up in here. Because a lot of time people have this, or just this, so they stop doing that kind of inside pressure with their ankle bone. So again, the uh, tip number two is that you start with that ankle down and you continue entire way, keeping it inside and like kind of pressing with this part there. So then I'm swivel into the next step and the most important here it's like if you touch yourself muscles in here they should be like a stone so they should be very active so you're squeezing them from there you squeeze 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 so if you have a very free and the wind go through it's not good so you have to keep that engagement and inner pressure in that inner thighs area, very important. So that will be tip number two, uh, three, sorry. So when you went here, you keep pressing, squeeze, 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 boom. And guess what? We continue squeezing our inner thighs 